Hi, I'm Dr. Max or Maxim Chumak. Uh, I'm a physician at uh, Hair by Dr. Max Restoration Center. And we're here today with Bernardo Marquez, or Major Marquez, who I knew for more than eight years because we served together in U.S. Army. And I was transferred to the unit back in 2014 at uh, 7217 Medical Support Unit here in uh, Miami. And so we knew each other for a long time. So Major Marquez wanted to kind of have himself a gift towards his retirement. He's uh, retired after being 28 years, 28 years with the Army. Mm -hmm. It, like, most of your life, pretty much, right? That's right. We started uh, very young, and uh, like you said, we met almost for eight years. I had a lot of respect for my physicians, for my unit, and in regards to hair transplant, we've been discussing this procedure for about more than uh, four years. Mm -hmm. And last year, I told Dr. Max, hey, once I retire, let's get it done. Since I made the first appointment, the professionalism from, from the whole, the personnel, Dr. Max, and yesterday's uh, procedure, he was on top of it because he does everything. He does the complete procedure and follow-ups. So it's not like uh, you get the technicians doing all this, the transplant. No, no, Dr. Max is the one who does it. So, so it you. went smoothly. So yeah, so he actually had his uh, 2200 grafts was robotic with a manual uh, case was combined so we did uh, the back of the head with the robot and the sides uh, I personally harvested that's how the donor area looks like uh, just one day after the procedure you can see the sides are really small they're less than one millimeter in diameter and as the time progresses in less uh, than a week typically we see four to five days the area will almost completely become undetectable because the hair surrounding will grow and the sides are so small, less than one millimeter, so they will close really quick. As you can see, the recipient area is uh, that does look um, a little bit of a little bit of blood there from yesterday, which is no, it, normal. That's how it's supposed to look like after the procedure. You can see how the hairline is with irregular shaped and appears perfectly natural. Uh, um, I did blend into existing hair right, uh, hairline right in the center and in the back, so we did create what I call a buffer zone in case Bernardo will continue with the hair loss. I didn't implant enough permanent hair from the donor area to compensate for any future hair loss. So I think you're gonna be all set for pretty much the entire life, at least in the front. And yeah, we finish in the okay time, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, before 5 p.m. It was mm -hmm. 2200 grafts. We actually did some robotic implantation, not a whole lot, we implanted about 200 grafts, and the rest went pretty smoothly, right? Yes. If you watch our channel, you know that I'm probably the only few doctors uh, that uh, do not use technicians to do the entire procedure. Okay, I spend every single minute of the procedure with the patient because I do everything myself with my own hands. And, um, and that you can Testify test. About. Yeah? Yes. yes. So your experience, how, how was the pain level, overall experience about the procedure? Well, from one to 10, right after the procedure, maybe a six to seven, but once I got home, I was surprised that no pain at all. And I mm -hmm. spent the night sleeping on a recliner chair, like, yes. you know, in regards to instructions, mm -hmm. but I was surprised, no pain at all. I took my meds, mm -hmm. but uh, no pain. And no pain right no, now, no this pain. is the next day, yes. next day after procedure. I thought, right? yes. So, you can see the, the, the front of the head, there's a, the grafts are here, they all look uh, located in the frontal area. And uh, we have a nice, uh, naturally looking hairline. For now, it's gonna take about three to four months mm -hmm. to see some early growth. By six months, we can see about 60% of the expected results. Mm -hmm. As the time progresses towards the end of the year, 
12 months of the procedure, you're gonna see more and more hair follicle go and become thicker, right? So, what do you think? Uh, can you recommend us? Oh, definitely 120%. Yes, sir. All right. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.